Hi, Max Kiros here. Today, I would like to talk to you about what's a TNA and why it is important. But before we do that, let me share my slides with you. And before I explain what's a TNA, that's a term that is important, let me share a story with you. When we started going into the online business, we thought that we could offer what we already had prepared and ready and some courses and programs that we had taught many times before successfully in a face-to-face -face situation. So that's what we did. We took one of our courses, adjusted, adapted, we recorded the videos, made all the activities, programmed the web page, and we offered our course online. And what happened? Nobody, nobody bought our course. Why? Because we hadn't conducted a TNA. And let me tell you what a TNA is. A TNA is a training needs assessment. And that should be the first step when you are developing a course, a program, or a workshop, be it online or face-to-face. -face. That's the basis for success of your program. If you don't carry out a good TNA, a correct training needs assessment, you, it will happen what happened to us. You will develop a course or a program that doesn't cover the needs of a specific audience and nobody will buy it. It will not be attractive to that audience. So you should take that into consideration before developing, before designing any kind of training, be it a workshop, a course, a seminar, a webinar, whatever you're developing, please beforehand carry a training needs assessment. Carry out a training needs assessment. That way, your program will be a perfect fit for the needs of your audience. Number two is very important. You should determine if your program is located in your niche. And your niche, it's very easy to determine what is your niche. First, identify what you like to do and what you're good at. If you like to teach math classes and you're good at teaching math classes, that's the starting point. Then you should find if people need math classes. And I bet there's a lot of people that need them. And the other important thing is to find out if people like what you do how you teach those math classes. If they do, and if those two circles or those two universes intersect or cross over, the intersection of those two circles is your niche. It's the golden zone or the sweet spot where you're doing something you're good at, you like doing, and somebody needs and likes what you do. When you are in your niche, things flow. You're working wonderfully, you're happy, you're working effortlessly, and you're satisfying a need of your audience. And that's the most important thing to understand. Don't develop courses because you have lots of knowledge. Design and develop courses or programs because there's a need for them, because your audience needs them. When you do that, you're practically guaranteeing the success of your training program. That's number two, find your niche. The third and important point is to know where's your market. And as you can see in this picture, a marketplace is where people go to sell and buy things. And that's physically. But online, it's exactly the same thing. You need to find the place where people go, if you're a math teacher, 
where people go to buy and sell math courses. Or if you are a personal development coach, you should find a place where people go to sell and buy personal development programs. That's exactly what you must do. Markets are places, be them physical or online, where people go to in order to buy and sell a service, a product, a course, and that's where you need to be. Part of your needs, training needs assessment, is identifying where's the market for your products so that once you have them, you can offer them and to see if there's demand for your product. Many times, many people tell us, oh, Max, I don't think I should design this course because there's already lots of them. Well, let me tell you, nobody, nobody teaches the course that you're designing like you do because you're unique and you impart that uniqueness to your course. You give that course your unique personality and somebody will connect with that course. So don't worry if there's lots of courses about that. As long as there's demand for that kind of programs, you can find the mark, that's the market, and you can find somebody that will be interested in your course. Point number four, identify your audience. You have to know your audience perfectly well. You have to know, once you know where you can find them, you have to know their characteristics. And here we're talking about people, not places. Your audience, that's why it's the audience, it's not the market. The market is the place where your audience goes to buy or sell, in this case, to buy your courses. So what are the characteristics of that audience? Are they men, women? How old or young are they? Are they married? Are they single? Do they have a professional career, a PhD or a master's degree or just a bachelor's degree? Are, and those, all those things that I've just mentioned are demographics. Yes, the same concept that we can find when we study people, demographics, and that's age, gender, studies, profession, income, all those things are things that we must know about our audience. But we can also understand and learn what they are interested in. What are their, their interests? If you can identify their interests, for example, if they follow Tony Robbins, or if they follow Oprah Winfrey, or if they follow personal development products or courses, or if, they're, if they, they're interested in finance, then you know something. And you can, that can help you identify your audience. And when you know the demographics and the interests of your audience, then you can design a product that is a perfect fit for that audience. And when your product is a perfect fit for your audience, what happens is that as soon as they see your product, they will want to buy it. They will want to be part of your community. And you will be successful. Your course will be a success. And you won't have to suffer what we did when we designed a course without a proper training needs assessment. So I hope that this video is helpful for you and see you in the next video. Thanks, have a great day.